do the Mets need more starting pitching? Guys, that is what I will be answering today. Do they need more depth? I'm just going to be talking all about that today in today's video. And so I've, I've, taken, I've been taking like two week break just because the end of school just happened. I was waiting for the end of school year to happen so I could really focus on my YouTube channel and it's finally over. So now I can start making videos again. And the question, the overall question I'll be answering today is do the Mets need more depth and starting pitching? So let's go ahead and get right into it. All right, guys, so let's just go ahead with Tyler McGill, Max Scherzer, and Jacob DeGrom out. Let's just go ahead and list what the rotation for the Mets looks like right now. So um, number one, we have Chris Bassett. Number two, we have Carlos Carrasco. Three would probably be Tyron Walker. Four would be David Peterson. And then five would be Tre Trevor Williams. And... I automatically, automatically, I look at this rotation and I'm like, might need more, might not, because honestly, this question w might go unanswered in this video, just, just to be honest, because there's a ton of guys that can really do stuff for the Mets in the pitching department, but they, they also could do bad stuff. Like with Tywin Walker, for example, we could get first half of last year Tywin Walker, or we could also get second half of last year Tywin Walker, where he didn't get a single win. So that's really what we're looking at right now. So with Chris Bassett, he's had a great season start to this year. Only two bad starts that have been, those have been against the Giants. Um, the Giants are just his kryptonite. And Chris Bassett will consistently go out there and give you six to seven innings of work every day unless he's blown up. Um, but he's just the definition of consistent unless it's against the Giants, but he is very consistent, and I really like that about him. So, Carlos Carrasco, I would say Carlos Carrasco, if you get Cleveland Cleveland Guardians version of Carlos Carrasco, you're, you're good with him. But if you get, again, like last year version of Carlos Carrasco, where he kept giving uh, first inning bombs and stuff off to everybody, then you have a problem with him. But right now we're looking good with Chris Bassett and Carlos Carrasco. They are both doing very well. Taiwan Walker now, like he is, he's doing solid. But again, if he reverts back to what he was the second half of last season, you never know what can happen. So right now he's looking good. So we have three solid starters that will probably give you some consistent starts three days in a row. That's good. But now we get into David Peterson and Trevor Williams, two guys that are very, very questionable with their starts. So let's just be honest. David Peterson, if he pitches like he did the other day against the Giants or the Rockies, then we're OK. But if he doesn't, then we're not OK. David Peterson is very, very inconsistent. And I hate to say it, but he is. And he might be one of those guys that we need to replace. And same with Trevor Williams. Like, he's very, very inconsistent. Last year was very good, but this year he's starting off a little bit. Eh. And we don't really, the Mets really don't have a ton of depth in their bullpen either. Well, they do, but if another guy gets hurt, they have to go out and get another person. And so now, since the bottom two guys in their starting rotation right now are not really the best guys you want to have in a rotation more of like longer relief bullpen guys let's go ahead and get into what the Mets could trade for and what their target should be all right folks so when you think of people that the Mets could trade for very good trade targets you automatically think of Luis Castillo Tyler Maley um Frankie Montas a ton of guys but the guy I think would be most likely is Tyler Maley because I would automatically knock off Luis Castillo off that list because he because of the price he would come for like the Mets would definitely have to give up one of their top prospects I'm not saying that is impossible but like they would have to give up a Mauricio a Vientos a guy like that a Matt Allen some guy like that for Luis Castillo and he's not even starting off the year very well but Tyler Maley, a much cheaper option, while he's not starting the year off very well, you do have that very high upside with him because 
he does not get hurt. He does not get injured. You can count on him every fifth day to be a starter, a pretty solid starter. He'll give you like three and a half to four ERA every year, which I'm not saying is amazing, but it, you can get by with it. And especially he's better than Trevor Williams, David Peterson, guys like that, that you really just have spots in your rotation in your rotation that you have to fill. So let's go ahead and get into the other guy, Frankie Montas. And Frankie Montas is the leader of the Oakland A's rotation. And since they are in a rebuild, it gives you, along with the red, it get, along with the Reds, it gives you like a more gives you more of a chance of being able to land him. But while he would be more expensive than Tyler Maley, he would also be better than Tyler Maley. So like you're getting that price for good, all right? So you're giving up that price, but you're getting good stuff back. And so since these three guys, mostly two guys, Tyler Maley and Frankie Montas are very good trade targets, I don't see how the Mets can't, but I do see why they would wait to trade. Like just let this just float up, just float up a little bit above sea level for the for a month or so, or even two weeks until Tyler McGill comes back, and then he's your number one, and that pushes everybody down a slot, right? So I would say just see where you are in a couple of weeks, maybe, and then trade for somebody. But let's go ahead and talk about who the Mets could trade for this starting pitching depth. All right, folks. So whenever we think of Mets players that we could trade for starting pitching depth, we automatically think of Dominic Smith and J.D. Davis. Two guys that could really fit on a rebuilding team. Honestly, people that rebuilding teams could build around. Um, and that'd be, like, while I would hate to see Dom go, I'm okay with J.D. going because I'm not super high on him. Uh, I hate to see Dom go. It would be for a very good cause. And for a team like the Oakland A's who don't have a solid first baseman, that'd be very good. And along with probably Mark Vientos or Ronnie Mauricio or Matt Allen, three guys that don't really have a set spot in the, in the organization yet, that would be very good. Five very good guys you could trade um, right off the bat. And so, so some pitching depth that you could trade, you could probably trade a guy like David Peterson or Matt Allen, um, those would be good guys to trade. But just thinking about a little bit further down the road, if you were to trade for somebody, these would be good guys who you could trade for. All right, folks, so that ended on the video here. Uh, I really hope you guys enjoyed. I haven't made a video in a couple weeks, and I'm sorry about that. I was just waiting for my school year to end. And so I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. YouTube recommends you watch it, and so do I. I will see you guys later. I'm Woody Baseball, and I will see you later.